Is it on? Yeah. Queen Daenerys Targaryen. That is I. I'm her. She's the best character on the show. You have not watched or started watching Game of Thrones, watch it. And then you'll see that I'm Daenerys. Okay. You guys like my bed? It's Paris themed. It's a party. Flashing. Lights, 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 lights. Let's get to the studio. Never would guess. Real cause I'm still in the flesh. Know what it's like to be blessed. Can't accept me at my worst. Can't accept me at my best. Still get support from my exes. No, I don't live with regrets. Why do I got them upset? Regardless, I wish you the best. Seeing how my life unfolds. I embrace every struggle while still chasing my goals. Suit and just get to the bed. Now you should follow suit and just get to the bed. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Um, I just got a new camera, so I'm learning how to work it. So this is my background. How do you like it? Of course. Chicago. So today, I really just want to update everybody on my life, update myself on my life. Half the time, I live in two different dimensions. In my world, in Kina's world, time literally moves completely different. I move this back. Sorry. Slightly ADHD. So I graduated college in May. It is now February. So I've been out of school for June, July, like June, July. Oh my god, nine months. That's a whole pregnancy. That's a whole baby. I've been out of school for a whole baby. It doesn't feel like it feel like I just finished school maybe three months ago. That's what it feel like. Like when I really think about that it's February, I low-key have been through so much. Like not in a like heavy dark way, but just in a like growth way. Prior to that, like right before that, I was kind of nervous. Like I was feeling doubtful. Like, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go. Like, I could see the next phase of my life. I didn't know exactly how I was going to get there. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm finally done with school. I don't have to be confined to one city. I don't have to be confined to a certain schedule, which I'm not good with schedules. If anybody knows me, I don't stick to schedules. I barely know what time it is. I didn't know what to expect next. And I knew it was time for me to take this next step, but it was scary because I'm like, I'm really about to set foot into the rest of my life. Moved back home to Chicago, that's where I'm from, clearly. Specifically the South Suburbs for all you city kids that wanna be, you ain't from Stamity Night, so you not from the city. Wait, you could have that, you right. I'm from the Burbs, Harvey Well Crazy. I was working this marketing job for like a month. It was ridiculous. And then going to a Sam's Club all over the city of Chicago, north, south, east to west, I'm literally driving hundreds of miles a day. The people in Sam's Club are like, let me, let me uh, come try this. And yeah, that was me. Even me, the friendliest of friendly, got tired of talking to people every day. It was draining me trying to sell people stuff every day. Stopped working there, started selling life insurance. My friend Ashley, if you got a sale, the money came quick and the money was decent money, but that's if you get a sale. I don't want to chase the money. Like, I want to pull the money into me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be me doing me and pulling it here, you know, attracting it, law of attraction. You feel, you feel where I'm going? I felt like I was sprinting. You saying bolting after the dollar and I can't do that. Like I can't, that's not me. I couldn't do the sales job because I felt icky almost trying to like sell somebody something just so I could make money. It was like I was stagnant and it led to like stagnation led to frustration. I was applying to jobs but I couldn't find any like solid job. I got my degree but it's still like okay you know where's my job? I'm very impatient too. I had to think about it like Kina you know what it's gonna come like you gotta relax. <sighs> had to tell myself that a lot. Who's Waking up and realizing that a change needed to happen and making that change happen. So I just stepped out on faith. Like, you gotta have faith in whatever it is. It doesn't matter the name you call it, the universe, Allah, God, uh, Nirvana. Like, I don't know. The infinite source power of light and love and everything, the creation, the creator, like the beginning, the end, before that. That whole being, I say God, but I mean, it's more than just God because we are gods. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have the power to create life and we are and we are made in God's image which means that a God is in us which means that we are gods we're not the ultimate supreme almighty powerful no that's not what we are but we are essentially gods I thought that I understood what manifestations meant like I was scratching the surface and I feel like it was because I was in college in like this bubble and I was so focused on like okay I gotta get this degree I'm still having fun and playing around but I gotta get this degree like focused on that like, I feel like college was a time war I was sucked into this like bubble temporarily which felt like an eternity 
but then I was pulled out and sucked back and thrown into the real world like phew now I'm here and time is moving like that did I mention it's been nine months that's a whole year but I thought I understood what the power of manifestations was but I didn't until I started to realize I do have the power like if I don't want to do this insurance or these commercial oh I was selling commercials too oh my god I forgot I had a lot of jobs y'all oh yeah and I started working back at Harold's let's go through the list it was the marketing job it was Mary Kay, it was insurance, selling commercials, heralds. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get a job. I have the power to change my reality with my thoughts, put in my heart in a pure place, and that will align you down a path because now you're giving love to the world and God is love. Now you're aligning with God's path for you. And now we've come full circle and I finally got a full-time job to work. Downtown in John Hancock building, nice view I'm off michigan avenue so if you're not from chicago i'm pretty sure you heard of michigan avenue you know, i knew i wanted to move out and i had all of the steps in line for me to move out but i just didn't have the income yet like i said very impatient i could not stay at the house me coming from school living on my own for the past couple years and trying to come home and adjust to my parents household rules and their lifestyle it just wasn't and I started thinking to myself, Christmas 2017, I was still a senior and I was talking to my brother and my sister-in-law and I was telling them like, after I graduated May, I'm moving out. Ooh, it was like, no, Kena, you need to wait, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's gonna be hard, this, this, and that. And I was like, look, all I'm saying is that's my goal. Now I'm gonna get there when I get there. So if it take me a year, if it take me two years, that's how long it's gonna take. But if it take me six months, that's how long it's gonna take. The day before or two days before Thanksgiving, me moved into our own place. You've seen her before in a couple of our videos. The skin one with the red hair that's her that's Faye our birthdays are a day apart actually isn't that crazy um I live with her and her two-year-old son he's actually almost three in a few days and you know people told me not to move in with her because she has a baby our family members was telling us like our lifestyles wouldn't be compatible because I'm like young and partier and running the streets and she's like raising a, a, a son and it's like yeah essentially our lifestyles are completely different I don't have to worry about another person she has to worry about a whole nother human being I just worry about myself it works like I mean I don't know how else like it's just it works so it literally took me six months after I graduated to move into my own place and be stable thank you to all my angels and my ancestors who protect me thank you God because literally you've been pouring blessings on me that I don't even just crazy you have to learn to stand in your power and affirm that power and affirm that I am a divine being here to do something. We're all here for a purpose. And once you figure out that reason, you're unstoppable. Once you understand it and you own it and you claim it because it is rightfully yours and nobody can take that away from you. Just stand in your power and affirm that you are here to do something great, spectacular, extraordinary and figure out what that thing is. And you figure that out by doing the things you love, by doing the things that give you light that makes your soul just explode <sighs> like it's just like that whether it be through dance whether it be through music whether it be through fixing computers or cheerleading that's that's fate like she is a die-hard cheerleader everybody has their different spark me I love bringing laughter joy I just love entertaining people obviously I'm here more than that I just like to help people think and ponder things that are abstract, conceptual. I just want to anchor love and I want everybody to just feel love and be love and be thankful and be grateful for living another day and be thankful for being on this earth. And I'm not saying that good days, I mean that bad days don't come, but recognizing that it won't last long, like the storm will pass and you are blessed to be here on this earth. Like me, I'm blessed to just be sitting here talking to you right now with health. I can get up and run. Like I don't have any ailments. I'm rambling now. And so I started to reflect back recently as to how far I came. I really do feel like I've grown a lot in nine months and I am creating my own life as I walk through it. And actually had it on me. I need to get it fixed. Don't look at it. I got it when I was 18 and he was a professional. It says life is what you make it. I'm still in the crafting room. And that's something that I've been living by since high school. Life is truly what you make it. If you want to be an actress, go act. If you want to sing and dance, sing and dance. If you want to cook, cook. Do what it is that brings you life. And don't do it for any other reason but, but that reason. Because when you do things that bring you life, you thus bring life to those around you. Me understanding that power slowly started to kick in 
from my junior to my senior year. That was my first year I transferred. That was me taking a leap of faith. Like I had been going to a school for two years that I wasn't happy at. I was in a two year relationship. I was even engaged, y'all don't let me. A whole completely different lifestyle. I went from a little tiny school to a big huge school. 15 times the people or something crazy. I'm not good at numbers. 3,000 to 30,000, what is that? Somebody tell me in the comments. I broke up with my boyfriend at the time, who I was engaged to. Phew, like I just flipped my whole life around because I felt called to it. But it was literally the best decision I could have ever made in my life. And I had friendships at Drake University, my first school. Like I loved them to death. I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. But me recognizing that I saw something different from myself and I didn't tell myself I couldn't have it. I told myself, why can't I have it? And I went towards it. Go after your dreams. Do things that people say is impossible. Why is it impossible? Who told you it was impossible? What is impossible? Honestly, I don't even believe that exists anymore. If I can see it, I can achieve it. If I can see it, it's already happening. Just understanding that has led to overwhelming sense of purpose. I'm here to teach. I'm here to gain knowledge. I'm here to learn. I'm here to be enlightened. I'm here to enlighten others with the knowledge that I gain. Universal flow. I'm thanking God every day. Just so grateful to have what I have. Just accepting that I'm not quite where I wanna be yet, but yet is the key word. Like I'm not quite where I wanna be, but that's because I just haven't put the work in yet to get there and that's what you're doing now you're putting the work in to get where you where you where you see yourself to get where you need to be it'll happen quicker because literally it was just a year ago telling my brother and sister like yeah in a year's time i'm gonna be in my own crib i'm gonna be done with school and that was to, at that time it was just a dream quicker than i blinked bro quicker than i blinked i promise you i kid you not i was in it i'm here now you see what I mean? I be watching like when you on Snapchat and they be telling you it's been a year. I look at my life from a year ago, my life is completely different. I'm getting up at six something in the morning every day and going to work with adults. Like I'm the youngest there. It's just funny cause like I was just raised to be respectful to my elders. So if you 40 plus, I'm gonna call you miss because that's just the way I was raised. Like, you know, I'm like miss so-and-so, miss and what? Girl, stop calling me miss, woo woo, I'm like, I'm sorry, but they're my coworkers. So they are recognizing and respecting me as a young adult, but I'm recognizing and respecting them as my elder, despite the fact that we work alongside each other because that's just how I feel that I should address an elder. It's just respectful. Like my ancestors would literally come and treat me in my dreams. Like I can't do that. I love just my life right now. I'm reading more now. I'm gonna start sharing with y'all the like the books that I'm reading and what I'm learning from it. You know, I'm really on this kind of like holistic way where I wanna do everything holistically. I'm really trying to just train myself to be this holistic healer in all areas. Stay tuned for more to come from Kina, third person. Well, I don't know why I did that, it's kinda ugly. Like I'm really excited for where I want this channel to go and I think you guys are gonna like it. Is there anything I wanna say? Winter's coming. No, I'm just playing.